This isn't a, just a zoo that's housing animals. This is a place that animals call their forever home that needed to be rescued because they were put into a horrible situation prior. Nestled in the Ozark Mountains, just outside of Eureka Springs, is Turpentine Creek. For more than 30 years, they rescued big cats nationwide, and they recently just welcomed more than 30 cats featured in the Netflix show Tiger King. 5 News reporter Jose Carranza spoke to the sanctuary about what led up to this and how their new Freedom, uh, freedom Field will help them on their mission. At Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge, saving the unwanted is a calling. No zoo in the country is going to take the animals that are not genetically pure. For Tanya Smith, the call is a family affair. Her parents started the refuge, giving their all to save big cats. They were in a situation that they felt like they could help, and that's what they've always done with animals. So um, it was just natural that they sell everything they own. Staying true to their mission, many were inspired and joined their program. We've had over 400 biologists, zoologists, animal care science people go through our program since 1997. Some have stayed, like animal curator Emily McCormack. This isn't a, just a zoo that's housing animals. This is a place that animals call their forever home that needed to be rescued because they were put into a horrible situation prior. While the pandemic shut many places down, even the sanctuary, Tigers took center stage with the Netflix hit Tiger King. It shed a light on the exotic big cat trade. I've been on over 500 rescues uh, or brought in over 500 animals in that 32 years. And every time I go, it's, it's a sad situation. There's an estimated 5 to 10,000 big cats in the U.S., many genetically modified, making it impossible yeah. to thrive or survive in the wild. People don't understand what these animals need in the wild, let alone, you know, in a captive situation. Some of those big cats were used for entertainment. That's until Congress took note. Well, the Big Cat Public Safety Act was a game changer for us. Law now prohibiting private ownership of big cats and public contact with the cats. I just want to mention that this bill, um, it's, it's going to be great to help solving the mission of saving all the big cats in the United States. Carol Baskin, the star of Netflix's Tiger King, was an advocate for the law. Last year, she announced she would be closing her big cat rescue, citing investing much of their resources into supporting the bill. That's when they reached out to Turpentine Creek. Probably one of the biggest, fastest expansions that we've ever accomplished in the, in the last 31 years. 33 animals made the trip from the Florida rescue to northwest Arkansas. The cats now live in the newly built Freedom Field. 13 and a half acres with 44 new habitat enclosures. You don't realize what these animals go through and then Max even at Big Cat Rescue had been in the den and they said he was very lazy and uh, they had trouble giving him meds every day and here he's just flourished. While taking in Baskin's cats was fast, they say they're ready at a moment's notice. Turpentine Creek wants to be there, be ready for when that government calls us and we need to assist on a, on a big cat's rescue. And, and Freedom Field is one step that we decided we needed to take to be ready for, for the next call. While the days of the big cat crisis dwindle, the care continues. The only issue, funding and the rising cost. Now, I remember days where if we could just earn five, five people come in at $5 a day, it could cover the food expense for the animals that day. That's when in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, now that's a ridiculous amount. But they'll always be ready to give it their all. Covering News Where You Live, Jose Carranza, 5 News. And while there's still work to do on Freedom Field, Turpentine Creek will host a private ribbon cutting April 27. Turpentine Creek is open for tours Monday through Friday, by the way. And if you want to learn more about it, head to our website, 5newsonline.com.